What's up YouTube? It's Andrew from Posh Designs and today I have episode 3 of my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday where I go into Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D or another demanding editing program and I show you guys one tip that could be very useful in everyday editing. Now in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make effective gradients and as you guys see from this preview image this is a very wrong gradient because if you guys see you guys can't really determine what is going on in this picture it almost looks like there is not a gradient now as you guys see it's really dark down here and then you guys see that it gets a tad bit lighter up here but it doesn't look very clean and professional now in this one it goes from really light gray to a really dark gray and this looks very unprofessional too this is what a lot of people will see their gradients turning out to be now this is a sexy gradient. You guys can tell where the gradient's going and it's just blending together very, very well across our composition. So guys, without further ado, let's hop right on in it. So we're gonna go to File New and I'm just gonna lay down 1920 by 1080 resolution. And then to lay down a gradient, you guys are gonna come over here and you guys might see either a paint bucket or you guys will see this tool right over here as you guys see on my screen. And it looks like it's going from a black to white and that's gonna be our gradient tool. Now if you guys just see a paint bucket, just hold down um, and you guys will see paint bucket tool and then the gradient tool. So we're gonna lay down on our gradient tool and then we're gonna come up here to this little color panel up here and we're just gonna hit that drop down arrow and then we can select whatever we want. So I'm just gonna select uh, this far left one and then I'm gonna double click inside that panel and then we can select our colors by choosing these two right here. Now our left one is going to be our bottom color so we're gonna select a little bit of a darker gray I'd say right about there. I'm using 323232 and then this one we want to lay down about that kind of gray right there so 464646 and if we lay down this by just laying down like that we see that we can tell the different levels but we can't tell like very very well so it's not discreet but it still looks pretty nice now we can obviously turn this up a little bit to 4D, 4D, 4D and we'll be able to tell the difference a little bit better like that so we can see that this up here is very much lighter than how it has changed from down here which is really dark gray now let's say that we don't want to use gray and we want to use colors Colors is going to be a very particular thing because we can't use two opposite colors because they just never can flow very well together. So for instance, if we were to use a red color and then we were to try to use a blue color, it's not going to look very smooth, guys. As we see right here, it just looks terrible, it looks ugly, and it just looks by far unprofessional. Now if we want to use colors, we're going to want to stick to color bases. So we want to select um, a blue color, let's say for instance. We want to come over to our blue color and I'm going to select a bit of a darker blue. We'll say right about there. And then for this color, we want to select a little bit of a lighter blue. So right about there. And then as we see, if we hold down our shift key and we just go straight up, we see how it blends in a little bit better. Now, the darker blue needs to be a tad bit darker for this to be able to look professional. So we're gonna go with a little bit darker blue. And if we lay down the gradient once again, now it looks a little bit more professional. Now for me, I love the green colors. The green colors look amazing and I have a lot of presets set for that green color because it looks so nice. Now. If I were you, I'd select a little bit of a darker lime green. Don't select a very, very dark green. Select a darker lime green right about there. And on this color, you want to select a tad bit lighter lime green. So I'm going to go right about there. And then after we lay down this, it looks amazing. I don't know what it is about it, but it just looks so reminisced down at the bottom. And then at the top, it just looks nice and clear. And it just looks amazing. I use this on a lot of my text, and uh, it just looks really good. So I love this type of gradient. Now, also, I'm going to touch bases on the types of gradients that you guys can have. I'm not going to go too in-depth on them, on how to make these guys look sexy. This is just a beginning tutorial on gradients, just to introduce you guys and how to make professional gradients if you guys are just getting right on in it. But there are different types of gradients, and you guys can make these by simply pressing one of the buttons up here. Now, this one 
is probably the far most uh, popular one, and this is the radial gradient. The linear gradient and the radial gradient are probably the most popular gradients that you guys will run into. Um, sometimes you guys will use uh, the different ones, such as the you know the angle gradients and the reflected gradients and the diamond gradient. But I'm just going to be touching bases on the radial gradient. So if we just select the radial gradient, we go. Um, you want to try to get in the middle as much as possible. So right about there. And if you just hold Shift and go diagonal, you guys will see that it stretches out in a uh, 45 degree angle. And then if you lay that down, it has a radial. Now the trick on doing this is is have the darker color be over on this side. So if we just drag this one over here and drag this one over here. Sorry, just a minute. If we drag this dark green over here and the light green over to the left side, now if we try to lay down the gradient, it's going to look a tad bit more cleaner as you guys will see. So you guys see how the radial makes the light just really pop in the middle and then it has kind of a, um, a sort of vignette on the outside which looks really nice and uh, really pops off is what I think. Now is what I use this one mostly for is for YouTube backgrounds. If you guys just want to make a nice clean background, I would recommend using about uh, kind of like a, uh, I don't know how to explain, like a three-fifths gray, which would be like around 5D, 5D, 5D. And then on this one, you want to use a bit of a darker gray, so I'm going to go with, we're going to go with 363636. Three, six, three, six. And if we look at this, when we throw down this one after we hold down our shift key, we see that it looks really clean and it just makes a wonderful vignette over any background and it just makes things pop off a little bit is what I think without using an actual vignette. So guys, I think this is all I have for you. That's about all I can teach you guys um, as a beginning tutorial uh, introducing you guys to gradients. So remember that these uh, two are very wrong. You guys don't want to use gradients like this. Um, especially because one you really can't notice a gradient on this and this you can really tell that there's a gradient and they just don't look clean they don't look professional and you don't want to give out projects that have gradients like these so guys if you guys like the tutorial please drop a big old like on this video it helps out a lot and it only takes two seconds of your day and if you guys have any feedback questions concerns just drop that in the comment sections below and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible well guys thanks for watching my name's Andrew from posh designs I make quality graphics for free and I make your visions a reality Thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. Words and taste makers, makers no chaser. Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker.